Hello everyone, you are watching Oyster Mushroom Expert channel. Today we'll discuss an important topic, how humidity in the growing room affects the development of primordia. Even if you move blocks from the incubator and they already have primordia, still most of them will form in the growing chamber itself. Humidity plays a key role in the development of primordia and pins, even more than in the formation of the mushrooms themselves. Primordia can die if the humidity in the room is too low or excessive, above the optimal level. In previous videos, I explained that mushrooms deform under conditions of insufficient or excessive humidity, even if other climate parameters are normal. However, temperature often turns out to be non-optimal as well, and in some cases a high level of carbon dioxide is added, leading to various mushroom deformities. Today we'll examine another scenario. Humidity spikes or uneven moisture levels throughout the day. Often these spikes interfere with the proper formation of primordia and instead you see formations that many growers refer to as monsters. Let's take a look. When can humidity change rapidly? If you water the floors twice a day without using any other sources of moisture, it significantly impacts the humidity level in the room. At low temperatures, humidity increases slowly. When the airflow from the ventilation ducts hits the wet floor, the water starts to evaporate and the water vapor dissolves in the air, which raises humidity levels. However, at low temperatures, this process occurs slowly and the humidity level may remain below optimal. A sharp increase in humidity happens during the moment of watering the floors when the water quickly evaporates and fills the air with moisture. If you also water the blocks and walls, humidity will rise faster because the evaporation surface area increases. Mushroom blocks are warmer than the surrounding air, so droplets of water evaporate faster from their surfaces. However, if water enters the hole, meaning perforations of the blocks, the substrate gets very wet in the hole. If there are no primordia formed in those perforations yet, mold spores may start to grow out. If white mycelial hypi, out of which primordia forms, so-called hyphal knots, are present in the cuts, they can die from water exposure. These white formations look like cotton, and droplets of water settling on the hyphae hinder their development. Therefore, they turn into a white mass instead of developing into primordia. If water droplets land on primordia in the pinning stage, they spread across the tiny caps of the future mushrooms, forming a film that hinders the mushroom's respiration. As a result, some will not develop and will turn yellow-brown within two or three days. Moisture continues to accumulate in them since they are already dead. Some growers tell me, I water my mushrooms and everything is fine. I respond, you can water if you don't have any problems. When the issue arises and the monsters pop out, as seen in the photo. Just remember that this could be related to watering. Be cautious when watering to avoid flooding the holes or consider other misting systems. By the way, such monsters can occur if the misting system is placed in the chamber itself under the ceiling. I am against this type of humidification and believe that moisture should only enter the ducts to mix with the air. That's all for today. Goodbye and I wish you all good harvests.